Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. dropped another one? 63 to nothing. Well, look on the bright side. It's not as bad as last week. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Sam. I guess you heard the score, huh? Yeah. Looks like the team's improving. <laughs> <laughs> How'd my boy Herbie Bates do? Did he give a good account of himself? Maybe you better ask him. Here he comes. I'm sorry, Mr. Drucker. We lost again. Oh, now, don't feel too bad, Herbie. It's how you play the game that counts. And from the looks of you, you really gave him a scrap. I didn't even get off the bench. <laughs> oh, Herbie, if you were just warming the bench, how'd all this happen? The team ran over me on the way to the shower. They were in a hurry to get off the field. And who can blame them? Oh, here comes that Hooterville coach. Have I got a few words to say to him? Now, Sam, take pity on the poor man. His team just lost 63 to nothing. Last week it was 72 to nothing. And the week before that it was... <laughs> Herbie. You were pathetic. <laughs> How can you blame Herbie? You didn't even let him play. No, Sam. That was my tragedy. He was supposed to run up and down the sidelines and keep the Pixie Boys worried, wondering when I'd send him in. Instead of that, he worried our boys. They were afraid I would send him in. Cheer up, Herbie. That's right. You'll get to play next week. You're the one that's pathetic. Why don't you resign? You know, Uncle Joe, this might be a good time. You could retire with a perfect record. A perfect record? An unbroken string of defeats. I got news for you Monday morning quarterbacks. We ain't gonna lose next week. Oh, what makes you think so? We ain't gonna play. The train's coming, Mom. Just heard her whistle for the station. Oh, we've got groceries in the back room. Come on, Sam. Come on, coach. Ought to resign. <laughs> Mail come? Well, yeah, but I ain't had a chance to sort it yet. It's in a sack back in the storeroom. Hi, Floyd. Hi, Floyd. Hi, Floyd. Hi, Mr. Smooth. Hi, Floyd. Hi. I didn't know Floyd could move that fast. Wonder if I'd get by using him in the Hooterville backfield. <laughs> come on, Uncle Joe. Yeah, we better not stay here too long. You know, there's an angry mob farming when I left the football field. <laughs> Let's get into Floyd. Oh. <laughs> 
hats come in real handy. I might have you wear those all the time. I'm afraid Floyd's got himself woman trouble. Floyd Smoot? That darn fool. Jumped down out of the cab before I could stop the train. He's gonna kill himself over that woman. What woman? What woman? Camille Tewksbury. Camille Tewksbury. She must be new in town. Well, she's not local, Kate. She's one of them mail order sweethearts. Floyd met her through the Lonely Hearts column of a magazine. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that. What does she look like? Nobody knows, including Floyd. But Floyd sent Camille his picture, and today he figures he'll get sent her picture, and that's why he's back there rooting through the mail side. <laughs> well, I hope for Floyd's sake she's nice looking. Come on, come on, let's get that train rolling. Bad as this, better than riding out of town on one rail. Yeah, but Uncle Joe, I want to... Uh, well, I'll see Floyd on the train. Floyd, come on, let's get rolling. You got your letter from Camille, huh? Yeah. Let's see your picture, Floyd. Oh, <laughs> you got yourself a dog, huh? I warned you. <laughs> Coming, Betty Joe. Next time you listen to me. Ah, uh, Floyd. Don't pay any attention to him. The worst mistake a man can make is to marry a beautiful woman. They're nothing but trouble. You remember that. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm serious, Floyd. The plain ones make the best wives. In fact, the homelier, the better. Yeah. Oh, come on, Floyd. Now, she can't be that bad. Uh, holy smoke. She is. That looks like a man wearing a wig. It is. What? That's my picture. She sent it back. <laughs> oh, Floyd, listen. Wait a minute. You know something, Betty Joe? I'll bet you're the only kid in the country that drives a train home from school. Charlie, what could have happened to Floyd? Usually he's up here every five minutes checking on us. The love life got derailed. I bet he'll get over it. Who is he in love with? Well, he's been writing letters to some woman, uh, Camille Tewksbury. But they exchanged pictures, and that ended that. Gee, I hope he isn't taking it too hard. Oh, don't worry about it, honey. Your ma and Sam Drucker's back there with him. They'll switch him back on the track. Floyd, come on now. Unlock this door. Go away. Leave me alone. Now, it's no use, Kate. He's just going to sit out there and pine over Camille Tewksbury. Sam, let me try something. Floyd Smoot, I got a bone to pick with you. Now you unlock that door, or I'm climbing out this window. All right? No, no, Kate, don't do that. I'll open the door. <laughs> you traitor, you double-crosser, you love pirate. So we're not good enough for you, huh? Woo hoo hoo! The women in this valley, that's who woo hoo hoo. All these years you've been leading us on, keeping us dangling on a string, playing fast and loose with our hearts. Me? Yes, you. And now that you've reached your prime and we're all wondering who's going to be the lucky woman, you turn your back on us and you take up with an out of towner. You're nothing but a typical playboy bachelor, Floyd Smoot. Me? Oh, don't, don't, don't act innocent with me. I've heard all about you and that Camille Tewksbury. But let me tell you something. At the next church social, there isn't a woman in this valley that'll sell you a cake or a box lunch. <laughs> We've given you the best years of our lives. Now you're tossing us aside like a bunch of old shoes. <laughs> me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to cry, because... You're not worthy of my tears. Hey, listen, Kate, I, I don't understand. <laughs> listen, Kate, open the door. I want to talk to you. No, sir. You stay out there and cool your hot blood, you fickle Casanova, you. Please. <laughs> Mr. 
me. Well, who won the game, Coach? Oh, Pixley managed to squeeze by us. 63 to nothing. My boys weren't able to execute the plays I gave them. They need more skull practice. Pixley was sharp, well-organized, well-trained. Uncle Joe, Pixley hasn't even got a coach. And neither has Hooterville. <laughs> He hasn't got a coach. Maybe we could protest the game on that basis. Huh? <laughs> We're gonna have pizza, knuckles, and sauerkraut tonight, Charlie. Mm. Yeah. And for dessert, I'm gonna bake fresh blueberry pie. Blueberry pie? That's my favorite. I don't remember inviting you to supper, Floyd Smoot. So why don't you put on your mail order courtin' hair and go callin' on your mail order sweetheart? Maybe she'll cook you up a mail order supper. But Kate, I always eat supper here. That was before I found out what kind of a man you are. What kind of a man am I, Kate? Tell me again. You're nothing but a fickle, heartbreaking Casanova, that's what. Come on, Chuck. <laughs> Kane wants to hold supper for a while, see if Floyd shows up. Uh, wait a minute, Joe. The big game with Elm City's coming up. Now, the merchants of Hooterville are prepared to pay you a cash bonus if... As good as mine. I'm gonna win that game. The bonus ain't for winning. It's for resigning. <laughs> I'll chip in on that. Now, look here just a minute, you boys. I got a surprise ready for that Elm City team. The Hooterville Hornets are gonna really sting. Worse than today? <laughs> oh, sting. <laughs> What's the surprise, Joe? Speed in the backfield. I got a brand new scat back. Under wraps. A little bit faster than a jackrabbit. Them big heavy Elm City boys ain't gonna lay a hand on her. Her? her. I mean him. It, the, the scat back. Uncle Joe, you're not by any chance talking about Betty. Betty? Betty who? Betty, my fast-running daughter, that's who. Oh, Kate, I know you'd never stand still for a thing like that. Would you? <laughs> you better believe I wouldn't. Neither would she. Neither would Hooterville. I'll bet the Elm City boys would go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. Uh, Vickery don't mean that much to me. By the way, where is Betty Jo? Well, how would I know? Betty Jo! Uh, you, you better let her do her homework. You know her grades aren't what Did you talk her into it, Coach? Talk her into what? <laughs> no, he didn't. But, Mom, we've just got to win one game. And Uncle Joe says that with me as a scat back, you scat back upstairs and take off that uniform. Sorry, Coach. I was ready and willing. Well, I wasn't. Nice pass, Ma. <laughs> Forget it. Mom, can't we start serving now? Everything's ready? Yeah, bring on the pig's knuckles and sauerkraut. Well, no, no, let's just wait a little longer for Floyd. Hey, Kate, I sure thought you had him cured when you told him all the women in the valley were mad about him. What? Floyd Smooth. Mother! Well, I was just trying to help him mend his broken heart by convincing him he had sex appeal. I guess he didn't believe me. Well, there's only so big a lie a man can swallow. <laughs> That's a whopper. Oh, you two are a great help. All that Floyd needs is enough people to tell him that he's a handsome, desirable bachelor and he'll be fine. Well, go ahead, girls. Get the blueberry pies out of the oven. I don't think Floyd's coming. Hey, handsome, desirable bachelor. He's pathetic. <laughs> Joe, Floyd is warm. He's affectionate, he's gentle, he's, he's pathetic. pathetic. <laughs> now stop that. Floyd, what are you doing? Oh, 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 I just couldn't resist the smell of the blueberry pie. But please don't tell your ma I was here. She's mad at me. 
Mom? Mad at you? Why, she's crazy about you. All the women are. But especially Mom. And who can blame her? You're strong, you're handsome. And you're charming and you're intelligent. Why, you're everything a woman could ask for. Then how come no woman's ever asked for it? <laughs> well, because it's a man's place to do the asking, not a woman's. Uh, yes, a woman's place is in the kitchen. Now, Mom's waiting for you out in the dining room. Thanks, you girls. You set me straight. I still say you men could help give Floyd some self-confidence if you would just Keith Bradley, her... come to my arms. What? You're my woman and I'm your man. Now, let's do something about it. Floyd smoked. Have you been into McCook and Sherry? No, Kate. I don't need no false courage. I got love. <laughs> now, Kate, don't you cry. <laughs> I know you've waited a long time for this, but it's come at last. I want to marry you. How about it, Judge Drucker? Well, uh, don't you think you better wait for Kate's answer? Yes. You heard her. She said yes. No, I, I, what? Oh, you're joking. Somebody hid my Indian again. <laughs> Don't they realize that was carved out of living oak by my great 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 uncle, Kit Carson? <laughs> Thing like that gives the hotel class. <laughs> Ooh, wee. If that pig had known what Kate was going to do to his knuckles, he'd have died happy. <laughs> hey, that's my chair. <laughs> Kate and Floyd out here? I can't find him any place. Why, are you in a hurry to marry him? Of course not, but Kate's in a spot. She might need our help. Yeah, if you find her, ask her where she hid my Indian. <laughs> oh, Betty Joel, you got any idea where Floyd and your mother disappeared to? No, Mr. Drucker. The last I saw Floyd, he was going down to the train to get his guitar. Oh, no. Poor Kate. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. But where? Where is he? Can anybody tell what direction that's coming from? No, but I hope the wind changes. Them knuckles I ate's clenching into a fist. <laughs> Maybe he's down at the railroad track. Come on, Betty Joel. Whew, I'm glad that's over. Hold it, Charlie. What's the matter? Now, let's start over again. When I rock, you rock. Now. <laughs> Nothing makes me edgier and people rocking against me. <laughs> Listen, girls, we gotta scare Floyd out of the notion of wanting to marry me. Now, I got an idea. You know how shy and bashful he is? <laughs> Not tonight. Well, <laughs> not with me. But when he comes back to help you with the dishes, I'm gonna leave. And I want you to ask him to explain about the birds and the bees. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll run like a scared rabbit. <laughs> oh, Floyd, come, come in, come in, Floyd. <laughs> the girls are so happy you're going to help them with the dishes. <laughs> Aren't you, girls? Uh, we sure are, Daddy Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bailey. <laughs> Why, Daddy Floyd, you're blushing from ear to ear. <laughs> you don't mind us calling you Daddy, but we never had a father to tell us things. And there's something we'd like you to tell us right now. What's that? All about the... <laughs> birds and the bees. You don't know about the birds and the bees? Well, I guess you're old enough to learn about the birds and the bees. The birds... The... I'll tell you about the birds first. And they go like this. And you take the bees. They do it all together, did I mean, the sound goes. <laughs> now, you don't want to get them mixed up because the bees will sting you. Now, just remember the birds is bigger and goes like this. The bees is littler and goes like this. You sure you don't know about this? Where's he been? We've been looking everywhere. Where's Floyd? Oh, he's in the kitchen, but he's going to come running in here any minute. What are you playing? Hide and seek? He's going to want to hide because Bobby Joe and Billy Joe are asking Daddy Floyd to explain about the birds and the bees. Oh, this I got to hear. <laughs> you go get your books and do your homework. 
This I gotta hear. Me too. <laughs> but you don't think that... With Floyd, it's possible. <laughs> Floyd! Just a minute, Kate. Girls, have you learned enough? Yes, Daddy Floyd. <laughs> Just remember... I'll be back later and tell you about the pigs and the chickens. Come in, Kate. Should I bring my guitar? No, no, I just want to talk to you. What am I going to do, Sam? Mom? Yes, dear. Were either one of you good in history? I'm having an awful time. Yes, Kate, dear. Here's the man who's going to help you with your homework from now on. Your daddy, Floyd. <laughs> yeah, Floyd. Now, that's something you've got to get used to. Helping the girls with their homework. My teacher always said I was an exceptional bride. What do you want to know, Betty? Well, uh, right now we're studying the Mexican War. Are we having a war with Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> Floyd. The Mexican War started over a hundred years ago. And we ain't whipped them yet. <laughs> Doggone it, Charlie. If you're gonna rock, rock. Don't sit there side saddle. I'm sorry, Joe. All right, now we'll get a fresh start. A one, a two, a rock. And boys, if we don't help Kate, she's liable to wind up being Mrs. Floyd Smoot. Terrible name. It's pathetic. Oh, I have no objection to the name. I do. Mrs. Smoot. Sounds like a truck dumping wet cement. <laughs> I tell you what, Kate, I can fire up the cannonball and sneak you into Pixley. That'll give Floyd overnight to kind of sleep off this love binge he's on. The old Floyd wouldn't sleep awake worried about his train. <laughs> Boys, you've done it. I've done what? Solve the problem. Listen. I'm glad you changed your mind about a moonlight stroll. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to go get my guitar? No, Floyd. <laughs> well, we have things to talk about. Now then, uh, you'll run the hotel. Oh, sure, when I'm not running the train. Oh, well, I don't think you'll have time for both. But, Kate, I'm the only one that knows oh. how to fire them. Why, they ain't nothing to fire on a locomotive, boys. Easiest job on earth. Come on. I tell you what, Joe, you fire it one day and I'll fire it the next. Sounds good to me, Sam. <laughs> get down out of there and get your grimy hands off of my wood. Why, Floyd, you won't have time for the cannonball no more. You're going to be a married man. Now, you'll be busy firing Kate Stoke. <laughs> ain't nobody going to fire the Hooterville cannonball but me. Now, get yourself down out of there. Why, Floyd, did I hear right? You mean you're choosing the train instead of me? Now, Kate, please don't go to balling again. Doggone it. If I gotta make a choice. Oh, I I, and I'm gonna be very brave about it. I guess you were a bachelor too long to get snared now. Kate, I'll take you back to the hotel. I'll come along. Me too. Me too. Oh, no, Floyd. You stay here with your first and only love. It isn't my only love, Kate. Please let me go along. No, Floyd, and that's final. Well, then, Kate. What is it, Floyd? Will you bring me back down some blueberry pie? <laughs> sure, I will. How do you like that? I finished third behind blueberry pie. <laughs> 